Welcome back to uh, World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. And right now we're going to learn a conga pattern for three drums. Um, it's really two drums, but three just to make it interesting. And this comes from a student request that wanted me to listen to and analyze and teach a drum pattern, a conga pattern that's on a Rasan Roland Kirk recording of Ain't No Sunshine. So your homework after you get done here is to go check out that tune. And this happens in the double time section. Um, and it's pretty cool, but it's a little buried and you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear some congas in there and it's a little hard to tell. So this is what I believe is the main pattern. Uh, it's a two bar pattern with three congas. So I'm gonna show that to you. It was played by Richard Landrum or Richard Pablo Landrum, Rasan Roland Kirk, Ain't No Sunshine, I believe it was on the Blackness CD originally, but you can find it in lots of other places and compilation CDs now, or collections. Nobody has CDs anymore. All right, so what are we doing here? We're going to, let's go to the overhead view, and just listen and watch right now, and then I will break it down for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four. And this is the first bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and. All right, so the first bar is a hand, fingers, one and two. We're just kind of starting with the marcha. All right, hand, fingers, slap, left, left, right. Hand, fingers, slap. And then two open tones on your conga. We're, we're, I'm using quinto conga tumba, right? So hand, finger, slap, tone, tone. That's the first part. Then you can either do a fingers tone on your left or you can do like a dead stroke. Uh, after the two open tones. So let's go that far. One and two and three and. One and two and three and. And then we finish it up with two opens. So it's kind of like the second half of what we call the mambo conga pattern. Let's play it again with the metronome. Two and three and four and. second half, rhythmically, it's almost the same. What we're doing is instead of playing the two open tones on the low drum, on the conga, we're going to go to the lower drum, the, the uh, tumba, and we're going to play the first of those notes on the tumba with our left hand, and then the second of those two notes um, on the conga. And then it's, then it's the same after that. So let's do the second half. It's gonna look like, look like this, a uh, hand, finger, slap, and then instead of going over here, we go left, right. Hand, finger, slap, open, open. And then it finishes up the same, you guys. So, hand, finger, slap, open, open, dead, Tone, tone. Whoa. Let's put it together. Two and a little bit slower. All right. 
He plays it a lot faster on the recording. It's more like... All right, really cool pattern. It's simple, you know, not too complicated, but it's interesting enough. It's kind of different enough from your typical, you know, just playing time. Not that there's anything wrong with that, uh, but it's different enough, you know, something you can use. Um, I like patterns that are not too, you know, they don't have too much characteristic to them so that they're like, they don't fit with a lot of things. I think one of the things about this pattern, and again, this was played on the recording by uh, Richard Landrum. You can look him up. So many recordings starting in the, in the mid 60s. Uh, up until the 2000s. Um, so a very prolific recording artist. Um, maybe go check out some more of his work. Because I think, you know, it's important for us all to have uh, patterns that we can use that fit in lots of different situations. And I know many of you want to just, you know, you want to play in your, like your church group or your community group or play with your friends and, you know, do some gigs, have fun. And, you know, we're not trying to all be hands on fire, uh, you know, speed demons and, and all that. And that's, you know, it's fine to be inspired by some of the best players in the world, but um, it's also nice to be able to just go do a gig, play a groove, have the music feel good, and then say, uh, get, get thanked by the other musicians for not overplaying. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have anything to add, if you have any other questions, well, if you have some tips, and nice comments for each other. You can leave them in the comments section on YouTube. If you'd like to get in touch with me more and study more, including take courses, have access to lots of material, you can do that on uh, our Patreon site that supports this channel and my other channels, and that is patreon.com slash Kalani. Uh, you're free to send me questions through there. I will get back to any patron who sends me a, a message uh, through uh, the Patreon site. So, all right. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Go check it out. Rashawn, Roland Kirk, and uh, enjoy, you guys. I'll see you next time.